Roberto Medina is sparing no expense to, finally, bring the world's biggest music festival to the U.S. On its 30th anniversary, Rock in Rio, the world's biggest music festival, with 7 million tickets sold over three decades, is finally making its North American debut, in Las Vegas over two weekends in May. Founder, CEO Roberto Medina has basically thrown caution to the desert wind, he's built a 37-acre, 85,000 capacity city of rock, in partnership with MGM Resorts International and Cirque du Soleil, as well as SFX Entertainment, that will feature nearly 100 acts on three stages and three rock streets. Metallica, Lincoln Park and the Mana are among the headliners for the May the 8th to the 9th Rock Weekend, and Bruno Mars, Sam Smith and Taylor Swift will top the May the 15th to the 16th Pop Weekend. Sponsors include Mercedes-Benz, Red Bull, Bacardi, Hennessy, Corona and Chili Bin's sunglasses. Billboard spoke with Medina on what it means to bring the world's biggest music festival to the world's biggest music market. Billboard, was it a challenge to find sponsors in the US, Roberto Medina, music sponsorship is very small in America. Each edition of Rock in Rio gets $54 million in sponsorships meaning about 10 times more than the biggest American festivals. We have $14 million in sponsorships, for the Vegas edition, and that's much more than other festivals in America. But if you compare it with Brazil, it's insignificant, there we license the Rock in Rio brand to 650 different products. The Rock in Rio operation is more expensive than others, artificial turf, real bathrooms, the best sound in the world. When we started in Brazil 30 years ago we had to make an exceptional offer because the money from ticket sales wouldn't pay for the festival. Here it does, so there's not such an urgency to find brands.